Hello true believers, Overkill's back with another video. Today we're going to take a look at the brand new Marvel Legends series Joe Fix-It Wave Thunderstrike. And if you followed my channel for a while, you'll know that I'm a huge Thor fan. And I'm trying to build up my Thor shelf, my Thor collection. And this guy was more of a needed to get, more than wanted to get in a way. I've never been a huge fan of, the, of this character, but... He's still needed, and it's still pretty essential for any 90s comic book fan to have this. I know he appeared in comics before the 90s, but early 90s is when it finally kicked in with Thunderstrike. And, you know, that's the Thor we had for a while, so it's still a piece of comic book history. With that being said, I'm still glad to have this guy in my collection. And it's the only one so far that I've got from the wave itself. For Joe Fix It, so I've got the head, and thanks to a couple friends, they're hooking me up with the arms from Captain America and Iron Man. So I'm already halfway there. Hopefully, I can finish building this guy pretty quick. But we'll see on the package. We do have extra hand. We have the Thunderstrike hammer, the Joe Fix It head, and Thunderstrike himself. When we span to the side. We see some awesome artwork of Thunderstrike, and I'm sure it's the same on the other side as well. Still pretty nice artwork, I'm digging that. When we get to the back, we can see Marvel's Thunderstrike. Kevin Masterson follows in the noble footsteps of his idol Thor because the world still needs heroes. And like I told you, he does have piece number six, which is the head. And thanks to a couple friends I have, pieces one and two coming my way. So, halfway there, pretty cool. And it does have some pretty awesome artwork here on the back for the figure posed i like that so what we'll do next is go ahead take him out of the package and check him out here he is in his clamshell and we can see he has nothing extra just the stuff that you can see through the window so what we'll do is let's go ahead and look at the build a figure piece first you can see the joe fix it head a little couple paint errors on it, but still pretty cool. And I don't have me a Hulk build figure yet. The wife has taken all of them so far. So this will kind of be my first one once I get it built. So that will be something to look forward to. And here we have him out of his package. We'll take a close-up look at this guy. Pretty good sculpt and detail work on this guy. And the jacket looks nice. You could probably take it off if you wanted to, but I'm going to leave it on. He's got the classic Thor costume underneath. Those are pretty cool. The yellow. A little bit dull, but it's nice looking. Just, it's a pretty cool figure. I didn't think we'd ever get one or it'd be a long time before we did. So it's a pleasant surprise. You can see on the shin guards. Pretty good details on that. Ponytails, what you expect. As usual, they could probably break off pretty easy if you didn't watch what you were doing. Articulation wise, that ponytail will hinder it with that jacket, so he can only look up basically none. Down, it's about the same. Either it's really stiff or he's not looking at all. So he has no head movement hardly at all, at least on mine. No wiggle room. You can turn to the jacket itself before you start stressing it. And then he does have. No butterfly joint inside. But it allows him to reach forward all the way. And he can go down straight. Can't go up too high. Can't even touch the jacket. Upper bicep cut. Double jointed elbows. And full movement on the hands and wrists. Because he does have at least one interchangeable hand. His ab crunch here allows him to go about that far because of the jacket. Back that far, not much. And then he has, should have a waist turn, but maybe the belt hinders it. I don't want to force it. He may not have a waist turn. Doesn't appear that he does, or if it does, it's so stiff it won't move. So there's no, that's the side to side action you get, is from the upper part. And can't quite do a split. You can go down about that far. He does have the upper calf cut. 
double jointed knees and his foot goes about that far and back about that far so what we'll do now is take a look at the hands you can see he has a gripping hand on the right side that's the hold thunder strike he just kind of got not quite a complete open hand but you can see it there you can pop it off he does have a fist hand you just pop on so that's pretty cool other than that, the only other thing that he comes with is Thunderstrike with the chain on. It's not totally detailed, but it's cool enough looking. Try to get up close without it blurring on us. You can see the little marks inside the hammer. And you just put it in like so. A very solid piece overall. Very well detailed. No real cons to it. He's really nice. The apps look great. I mean, it's a little bit off on the arm here, but nothing too major that you can't easily overlook. The sculpt, the head sculpt looks great on him. I think they've done a really good job. He didn't need a lot of extra features. He just needs his hammer. And he's going to be great for my Thor core setup. I've got three here in the picture, and I do have a Jane Foster as well. So come on, Hasbro, give me a Throg. After that, for my Thor shelf, I'd love to get a Destroyer eventually. But yeah, that's going to be it. Once again, this was the new Joe Fix-It Wave Marvel's Thunderstrike. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I bid you all farewell. Peace.